Hello and welcome. This is another NS3 tutorial. Uh, if we look at the tutorials under NS3, we could find under examples, tutorial, uh, examples, tutorial, second, uh, an example network where we use CSMA net device, which is what we use for an Ethernet LAN. So uh, in this example, we use CSMA helper to create uh, a CSMA channel and the CSMA devices for these nodes. This particular node, N1, also has another net device of type point-to-point -point, uh, net device, which, which connects it to N0. And we could set the IP prefix for this side and that side. Uh, CSMA helper, what happens is in CSMA helper is that we use the object factory method to set certain attributes and the class names, uh, the type name, and some attributes before we construct the object. And we create CSMA net devices and a channel as well, just like what we did uh, in uh, in uh, the point-to-point uh, -point net device. I'm going to talk about an, a more detailed example, and I'm going to share this uh, in the description. Uh, there will be a GitHub uh, repository. You can download this example and other examples I will share. Uh, Basically, in this example, I'm creating two uh, networks, as we could see in the diagram, uh, two networks, so two LANs, and then there is a point-to-point -point connection between these two LANs. And to do this, I have th three node containers. One is the nodes of LAN 1, the second container is nodes of LAN 2, and the router nodes. Now the router nodes are also on LAN 1 and LAN 2. The router nodes are two nodes. One of those nodes is in LAN 1. The other node is in LAN 2. So we create them with N1, N2, whatever value we choose. I chose it to be four. It has to be at least two for my purpose because uh, uh, the way I implemented it. And basically we use CSMA helper like second and we set the channel attributes that is the speed of the Ethernet network and the latency in that uh, of that uh, Ethernet networks, and then basically we will add one of the router nodes to it because it has to be accessible directly by the nodes, and we install. And basically, what this does is attaches net devices and create a CSMA channel object for LAN one nodes which includes router one. We do the same thing for LAN two. So far, the two networks are not connected. We cannot connect from nodes on LAN one to LAN two. We need to connect router one and router two using point-to-point -point helper. And the point-to-point -point helper, like we did it before, I chose to have it a little slower. And basically, the installation is just like tutorial one uh, it attaches point-to-point -point net devices to the two nodes and creates a net point-to-point -point, uh, channel for them. And then we create the internet stack, which is the basically the uh, IP address for the IP stack uh, for LAN one nodes and LAN two nodes. We don't do router nodes because the router, the two router nodes are included in this one and this one. But for router nodes, we can specify the interface. We could specify the IP addresses that they will take. So, so for example, for LAN 1, I want to choose this prefix, 10.1.1.0. For LAN 2, I'm going to go with 10.1.2.0. And for the routers, I'm just going to go with 100 here. The net subnet mask is the same for all. I'm going to create a UDB echo server and install it in all the nodes in LAN 2, OK? And then I'm going to uh, create a UDB echo client using the helper, just like the first example. I'm going to choose 200 millisecond uh, as interval 100 seconds, packets of size 1,024. Uh, I wanted to install UDB echo client on two nodes. 
And so for this purpose, I created a new client nodes that basically have a pointer to two of LAN, uh, two nodes of LAN, uh, of the nodes of uh, contained in LAN one, and basically install it, uh, install the UDP echo client there. Both clients target the same IP address, which is an IP address of one of the nodes of LAN two. And uh, we, the router one and router two don't know how to forward packets yet. And so for this purpose, we call this convenient function that populates LAN one and LAN two, uh, sorry, uh, router one and router two's uh, routing tables. Uh, using the CSMA helper, I can do things like enable PCAP or maybe enable ASCII uh, tracing. So I could do uh, other functions as well, but uh, if you look at the documentation, there's enable ASCII, which is which enables like printing text uh, traces. Uh, let me actually try to do it. Uh, point to point ASCII trace helper for device. Uh, enable ASCII. Uh, how does it go? Oh, I need an output. Okay, this looks internal. Uh, no, I can do this like that. Prefixes, let me say ASCII, P2P. And uh, what is D in this case? I don't even know what it takes. Uh, oh, the net device container. Oh, okay. I can have the uh, net device. A node container. So let me go with something like LAN1 uh, or client nodes, whatever I choose. Like it will, but this is for point to point. So I want router, router nodes. I think this should work. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then basically just to enable more tracing, I have connected to trace sources of UDB echo client and server. Interestingly, UDB echo server does not have a TX uh, trace source, so I removed it. And basically I hook them to each, uh, uh, to different functions. And what I do in this function is really just increment counters that I created as global variables. I also created this thing here, which gives me colorful console. So if I print this string before, something and then print end at the end so it will the, the string will be in the this color teal or whatever it is uh and so basically if i run this uh i should get the files generated uh so let me run the program generate the files again i'm gonna do Wireshark and LAN 1.0.0. So this is basically, you notice that it begins by doing ARP, which is resolving IP addresses to MAC addresses. This is very important uh, in, in, in Ethernet network, in networks in general, uh, IP to uh, IP version 4 has ARP. I don't think IP version 6 has ARP. It uses something different. And I could also check the route, one of the routers. So routers, it's called eight. That's the node ID. You could see that the router takes the packet from one network and pushes it to the other network. Did I generate a uh, the file? I don't think I generated that file. Uh, what was it, ASCII? Uh, them. Oh, I have two of them. So because two nodes, as you can see here, it, sh it shows the content of the packet, which is PPP header, point to point protocol. Uh, and within that there is an IP header and, you know, and within that there is a UDB header and then the payload is size one zero two four. And it actually has very useful information. Let me make this smaller. It makes it interesting. Okay. 
Uh, one interesting thing uh, when using Ethernet is this back off uh, trace. And this very, you'll come across this when you're dealing with wireless networks. So back off is when a node, remember the Mac layer's uh, job is to regulate how you access the physical medium. And so CSMA net devices are on CSMA channels. CSMA is carrier sense multiple action, uh, uh, access. And so you sense the carrier. Is there any traffic on the channel? If there is, you back off. And I just created this back off function and I basically back off and just, just gives you some information about what's, uh, I look at the ethernet header and just print out the MAC addresses of where the backoff happens. There's also uh, this thing, check queue size, uh, which is part of packets in queue, uh, uh, part of point -net a point to point net device and CSMA net device, TXQ, so basically it shows, this is a trace source. So it shows whenever the size of the queue changes, but I'll just comment it out for now for, for this purpose. At the end, I just print the counters, how many packets were sent by the, all the clients and how many were actually received. So let's run this now to show the back off. Uh, I'm printing it like I have a yellow thing, to printing it the message in yellow. So it says node one, there's a back off event. So of, it's with the packet that is going from this MAC address to this MAC address and so on. It happens a lot, I mean, uh, to avoid collision, okay? All right, I think that's it for this example. I hope you find it useful. And um, I'll talk later about Wi-Fi and some other NS3 tips. Thank you and have a good uh, good one. Please like the video and share it if you know people who need help with NS3. Thank you.